M0 FXB. Let's add a memory channel to the Alens HA1 UV. Just in VFO mode by pressing and holding the exit, you want to see VFO here. Press menu, then channel. And then we could enter it into the VFO A and B as default. But we're going to exit and we're going to put it into channel 1, okay? Menu. And I'm not going to bother with the name because you can't read the keypad. So what's the, at the moment, I think software is a better option for that. We won't do bandwidth, but we do receive frequency. Enter. So we want 145750. And then just hit the menu. And then you have to hit it twice to save. Go down the transmit frequency menu. And we're going to go 145. Uh, then it's 150 is the transmit. Hit menu again. And then yes. Now CTCSS. Go menu. And we're not going to have anything on the receiver. We will on transmit. So go down. And then start to turn the channel knob until you get, I want 94.8. There you go, menu, save. And we'll go down, squelch, we won't touch the squelch, the power, I suppose you could set that, set that to high menu. And I think that's about it. So when we exit now, and we go into memory mode, by pressing and holding exit, channel one, and I think we need to learn a trick about renaming, because obviously we'd like to know the name, wouldn't we? Channel 1 should open up GB3 Bravo Charlie. Let's try it. And look at and, that. Um, as soon yeah, as I connect I the an external it antenna, it's there. Look at the signal meter minutes. bouncing up and down. Hey, don't you I'll catch you further down. MW0, See how good the speaker is? And if we go back, we'll go to a different channel. Oh, it's coming through. Good old friendly chat there. So if we just quickly key. That's me opening the repeater. And then we can change channels. So if we could put the name in, it automatically saves to a channel. You can go in menu and go to zone, and you can add zones, watch this. A zone is basically a place where you're gonna add lots of channels, there you go. Add zone channel. Add channel, and let's just go. And we just added the channel to that zone. It takes it there and puts it in zone, but I just feel like the software at the moment, you can edit the name as you can see, is the way to go with programming at the moment, because we don't know <laughs> They, if they could give us a different way of selecting the characters, um, that would that's going to help. And if someone else has found that and solved that that sort of method of programming, then I'll be the first to make a video. Bye for now.